Hey everybody, this is CP Real 43 with a brand new update for you guys. Sorry it's been a little bit since the last one, but uh, hey, you know uh, how it's going right now. It's school and a whole bunch of other things that have been keeping me busy, and so I just can't put them out that much. And uh, yeah, so anyways, in this update I don't have a lot to talk about. Nothing's really been happening, and uh, just some little things, and also about that... Uh, trade agreement that I made with uh, my friend 1GZ Power, which I'll talk about right now. So uh, I've got the uh, Intermountain ES44DC here, uh, ready to go into the box. So you see I got the uh, foam uh, handrail protectors back on on both sides. So uh, it's ready to go back into the box uh, by, for the final time by me and uh, getting ready uh, to uh, make the trade. So. Uh, hopefully that will happen sooner or later. Uh, I don't know when exactly, just whenever uh, he's he's available um, because he's the one that's going to make the trip down. Uh, it's just, you know, kind of how it works with us and it's not really a whole big uh, issue. So, you know, uh, just kind of waiting until he has the time to come down and we can do the deal. So anyways, yeah, it's all ready to go and uh, going to be gonna miss this one a lot because it's been a great unit to my first inter, uh, Intermountain locomotive and I picked this one up back in February I think I remember the date February 26th 2014 so that was a little over a year ago so uh, yeah good times with it I had great experience with it mostly with just the DC layout I've got to use it just recently with DCC and uh, kind of experienced what it's like on there really good unit so I look forward to getting the uh, Intermountain ES44 AC that 1GZ Power has for me so uh, yeah looking forward for that and uh, can't wait to see what that unit has so that's it there uh, also while staying on the model topic here um, I actually am now a member a student member of the Southern Alberta Model Railway Club at last and it's only until going to be until uh, the end of this month the end of June so uh, that's when my membership will expire I'll have to renew it once the club's uh, season starts back up in uh, the first week of September so um, it's still good um, like I mean I only had to pay like a little less than 20 bucks to become a member just because I've only got like a month left so uh, yeah I'm pretty excited about that and I look forward to uh, becoming a member again for a full season and after that full season or full year, I will actually uh, get the keys to the uh, building and I can go over there um, whenever and meet some people at the same time on that are on days that's not on the Tuesday, which is when they have their meets. So yeah, really exciting. And uh, yeah, so that's awesome. Now a member, very, very happy about that. And uh, just one more thing too, I've been doing this little experimenting here. Uh, you can see that I got this uh, weight here, which is from uh, the uh, GP9. And uh, I've been kind of working on some uh, lenses here. So I'm not sure if you guys would be able to see this. Um, maybe if I zoom, uh, focus in on it a little bit, um, you might be able to see it a little bit better. So. So you can kind of see there I've got a little bit of a, a lens I made myself using my weld bond glue. Now uh, pretty easy to make. I drilled out some uh, 1 by uh, 16 holes using the 1 by 16 drill bit in the uh, weight which I'll show you guys right here. So you can see there I have two holes here, one for uh, lenses and I also I made one to do flashers because I want to do some flashers for my uh, GP9 which uh, has the uh, Canac belt pack and it includes the uh, ant radio antennas on the cab roof and then the uh, the flashers at the back so um, hopefully those will turn out nice I'm still kind of experimenting with this a little bit and uh, maybe I'll get some good lenses I don't know I haven't been able to test out these but they look pretty nice so it's a good use for my weld bond glue since it dries clear and uh, perfect so I'm really happy with that as well and hopefully I can make more uh, use of it so just put that back in my little container there. Um, and now another thing here which is kind of related to the rail fanning now. Um, as you can see I've got my Kumis uh, smartphone holder which is for a polar shelf and uh, I'm not sure if you guys have seen that you guys haven't seen this one in a while so as you can see it's got the little grip that you put onto the pole or shelf or whatever and then it's got the housing for the uh, smartphone whatever you're using. 
In this, in my case, it's an iPod. So um, I did a little modification to it. As you can see, I've got a spirit liquid level here, and uh, these are basically used on like rulers and a whole bunch of other things. Um, I took this off of um, this uh, skill laser level here, which uh, isn't really being used at all. I think it's pretty much done. It's on its last legs or whatever. I think the family is going to be getting a new one soon. So anyways, yeah, that's pretty much where I got that from. And uh, this will help me kind of keep my videos a little bit more straight because I've noticed mine are a little bit wonky. It's a lot more harder with the iPod inside this to uh, check to make sure that it's relatively straight. And uh, there have been some videos where the videos are a bit crooked. Not that it bugs me or anything, but I just want to look a little bit more professional, although I'm not trying to be professional. So um, that's kind of the whole point of it here. But uh, hopefully that will help me out while real fanning, and it will keep my videos a little bit more straight. So a little bit of an innovative way there. So um, And uh, now on to uh, Edmonton. Yeah, I was there. Uh, if you didn't watch the last update, I said I was going to Edmonton for the last week, uh, last weekend, and... Uh, had a good time there. Only got one train, which was a little bit of a disappointing surprise, but uh, what can you do? Traffic was a little bit slow on the Saturday, but I did manage to get the one train Sunday. So, um, And other than that, that is pretty much it for this update. I've got nothing else to talk about, so I will end it here. So uh, until the next video, this is CPRail43, and good luck.